Hello, Front Street family. My name is Mary Morehouse, and today is day 25 in our Pathway to Generosity devotional. Let's pause together today and listen to scripture. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of your enemies and through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. That's Genesis 22, 15 through 18. After giving Abraham and Sarah the gift of a long waited son, God instructed Abraham to take a journey with his beloved son, build an altar, place a child on this altar and sacrifice his life to God. Read the story in Genesis 21 and 22. In reading the story, it will be difficult to imagine what God may be doing. As a father of six, I cannot imagine the depth of faith and trust Abraham demonstrated to have even left on that journey. 44 years ago, I went through an experience that would change my life forever. Our first child, who had lived a healthy three years of his life, was diagnosed with acute lymphocytic leukemia. Only 14 days after her diagnosis, that precious girl died in my arms, and I came face to face with the question, who is it that you worship, Larry, the gift or the giver? In Genesis, God asked Abraham the same question. God asked Abraham to decide who it was that he would worship, the gift, Isaac, or the giver, God. At various points in our lives, we will all answer this question, and the answer will determine how we will live life. Worshiping the gift will only make us bitter, angry, cold, and unhappy. Worshiping the giver will make us loving, caring, generous, and compassionate. Worshiping God, the giver, enables us to live in the presence of a loving and giving God whose abundant generosity is always available to us. And that was a story by Larry Sikora. So our reflection is, so far in your life, especially during times of loss or crisis, how have you answered the question, whom do you worship? When you have trusted God and when you've chosen something else, here's a challenge. Think of someone you know who has gone through tragedy and still has clearly trusted God and has remained positive and hopeful. Talk with the person, ask him or her these questions. How were you able to get through this? What role did faith play?